Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am back at the Western Wear Stores for quick impression videos. Today, I'm at Northboro, Massachusetts at Wayne's Western World and we're gonna be taking a look at this Laredo Heath boot. I am so excited. This is my first time back in over a year doing in-store quick impression videos. So let's get into it. It's party time, excellent. <laughs> I'm just here to connect ya. Yes, yes, we're back here in the Western Wear stores, Wayne's Western World in particular. This is an awesome spot, guys. If you're ever traveling through on the 90 through Massachusetts, stop off at Worcester area. Wayne's an awesome guy. He's got some great stories and, of course, some great boots here as well. This is going to be my first of two videos here. And this first video, we're featuring the Laredo Heath boot. So what are we waiting for? Let's get straight into the rundown. The Laredo Heath boot is listed as having genuine full grain leather on the foot and the shaft. I'm not sure exactly what that means, whether it is genuine leather or full grain leather, but by looking at it and seeing the top here, I'm gonna have to lean towards more of a genuine leather, which isn't as high quality, but it kind of looks like it could be a full grain foot. So if I was to guess, uh, based off of the way that it's listed online, I'm gonna say it's got a full grain foot and a genuine leather shaft. It also features a nice square toe with a double stitched welt. It's not too wide of a square toe, so that's a good look. It stands at 11 inches tall and has a six row stitch pattern that is probably done by machine, but it looks spectacular. I love the combination of the colors between the shaft and the foot. We also have a one and a half inch Stockman heel here, which looks to be a composite of some sort and a rubber outsole. That rubber outsole is held on with a Goodyear welt. So it seems like this boot can be resold if you need it to be, if this rubber outsole ever does wear through. However, it looks fairly durable. So that might take quite a bit of time before that happens. On the inside, we have a mesh lining, the shaft and a cloth or mesh lining the foot as well, which makes this boot a little bit more light than expected, but the mesh isn't quite as durable as a leather lining, um, but that is reflected in the price point as well. Let's take a look at the removable insole. All right, we have a cloth and foam removable orthotic insole here, and it seems pretty nice. It's got like little extra bits on the heel and at the ball of the foot, which I know is gonna come in handy for some of you folks out there. The Laredo Heath boot is also made in India and comes in at $179.50 here at Wayne's Western World. Now let's try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Laredo Heaths on right now and they feel good. The first thing that I'm noticing is that insole and if you guys remember that little extra bit that was attached to the ball of the foot and the heel, can definitely feel that at the ball of the foot. It's sort of pushing up my foot a little bit more than what I'm used to, but I can't say that I hate it. It's got some nice cushion there. Um, so if you guys were interested in having a little bit more cushion at the ball of your foot in particular, uh, this does that in a way that I haven't felt in a boot uh, ever. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'm not feeling it as much at the heel though, uh, but there is a nice amount of arch support. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy uh, if you have really high arches, but uh, if you were looking for something with a little bit more support, um, this insole is, is decent. Like it's better than what I thought it was gonna feel like. Um, I'm I'm digging it. The leather is more supple than I thought it was going to be. Um, usually, like I always compare boots to the very stiff leather that comes in the Chinese made Ariat boots. Um, this is a nice supple leather that uh, will probably break in really easy. So 
Uh, it's a comfortable boot. The mesh lining keeps this a little bit lighter and they did cover up the seam with more mesh on the inside so I'm not getting any rubbing against my ankle or anywhere else on my leg. Uh, the counter hugs the heel more than what I would expect. Uh, it sort of comes up over the top of a, a little bit which decreases the amount of heel slip that I usually look for but uh, for the most part it's uh, kind of what you would expect in a boot of this price range. Uh, the heel counter isn't durable like a leather would be uh, but when you are looking for a boot in this price range between $150 to $200 they are going to cut corners here and there so that's reflected in the price but at this price range um, it's a comfortable boot for sure. Here's what it looks like POV. Not a bad looking square toe boot like I mentioned earlier. It is a it has a little bit of a taper to it. It's not a extremely wide square toe. Um, I know some people really don't like the really wide square toes, but uh, for a wide square toe, I think this looks pretty decent. A lot of you know that it's not my favorite toe shape, but at least it's not extremely wide like other boots that we've looked at recently. All right, now let's sit back down and uh, I'll give you my final quick impression thoughts of these Laredo Heath boots. All right guys, for the price of this Laredo Heath boot, I kind of like it. The insole was more than I expected. Even though the little bits on the ball of the foot and the heel are just kind of glued on there, it looks like. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it's that secure. It's gonna be in the boot anyways, so I wouldn't imagine them like falling off unless you are constantly removing and putting the insole back in the boot. So if you just want to check it out and sort of look at it really quick, um, then I would say try not to remove it too much because if those things get caught on anything coming out of the boot or going back in, then it might be a little bit difficult to secure back in the right position on this removable insole. So I'm not a huge fan of how they did it, but when it's on the foot, it definitely feels good, especially at the ball of the foot. The mesh lining, a lot of you guys know how I feel about mesh lining. It's not as durable as a leather lining, so you may get tears in here in the future. It could be in a year, it could be in two years, um, but it won't last as long as a leather lining. But again, like I said, that is, in, that is reflected in the price of this boot, which is coming in at around $180 here at Wayne's Western World. But if you guys ever visit here, you mention that you watched this video, just say to Wayne, hey, I saw Jeremiah Craig's video on YouTube and he'll give you 15% off when you visit here. So that is definitely a good savings, especially when it comes to boots, guys. Let me know what you think of the Laredo Heath boot down in the comments. And don't forget that if you're ever passing through Massachusetts to definitely stop by Wayne's Western World here in Northboro, Massachusetts. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Those Laredo Heaths are made pretty cheap but they can still feel good on your feet. Yeah, why don't you check out this video up here that I did about the Double H Dylan boots at Davis Trailer World. Or I got a video down here about my new album, Life is for Taking Chances. If you like what you see, please subscribe over here, and I'll see you next time.